the finals. Sharon Smith takes a good close look at this one. It'll be driven by Jeff Mallett tonight. Local hero Dragon's Lair came into the Breeders' Crown race with 10 wins and 2 seconds in 12 starts. He's campaigned primarily in Pennsylvania and has performed brilliantly at the Meadows. He's a first crop son of Tyler B, a Pennsylvania stallion and a special local favorite. He's the finest horse I've ever seen, let alone driven. When you're sitting behind him, you can't ever hear him touch the ground. Any photographs of him or movies of him, uh, you never see his feet hitting the ground. Dragon's Lair! One of 56 and one! Driver Jeff Mallett picked Dragon's Lair out of a Harrisburg auction for 43000 which he considered a bargain for a handsome yearling, but even such a sum was hard to come up with. I went over the pay phones and started calling people, seeing if I could get a couple partners. I ever thought, oh my gosh, suppose I couldn't have come up with the money now that you know what kind of horse this is. Lots of times. <laughs> yeah, I thought about it a lot of times. <laughs> Dragon's Lair set a world record in July, and Mallet knew he had a top horse. But other two-year-olds, those who raced in New York, got more attention. Still, Jeff Mallet wasn't so much worried about that. <laughs> They've uh, they finished second and third to me a lot of times as New York people. I try not to think of that too much. I really don't care about the opinion so much as making a lot of money. Well, Dragon's Lair has already earned back his purchase price and more, and in fact is worth many times what he cost as a yearling. It's roughly eight minutes till post time to the finals of the Breeders' Crown. Jeff Mallett looks somewhat relaxed at that. Not so now as he gets prepared and talks to our Kenny Rice. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Sam. I'm in the paddock area. Jeff had to go back and get ready to go out on the track as the horses are now proceeding onto the track for the championship. Mallet says that he thought that it was a tough race, but the Dragon's Lair, much the same as the Houghton Stable feeling about Nihilator, came out of the race strong and ready to go one more time tonight. He expects, again, a fast night out there in pretty much the same type of race that we saw earlier with Nihilator battling and Dragon's Lair trying to set the early pace. He has been that kind of horse all the way around and he expects to be that kind of horse again tonight. But the Mallet Stable, they are very confident that Dragon's Lair will be able to do that. So let's go back to Sam. 